but us Welsh hands, you know, we're really clumsy, we can't get it in. A bit like our rugby players in the Southern Hemisphere at the moment, but... Hey, hey, so there's our balloon, and as you can see, it's, it's quite floating, you know, so have got to keep hold of it. <laughs> or you'll lose it. <laughs> or you lose it. Yeah. So I've got a balloon. Of... I had a balloon of hydrogen. That's the second time you've done that. <laughs> the clear demonstration to show how dense the xenon gas itself is. Cool. Whoa, that'll be the air. <laughs> So now we have a, a somewhat larger balloon of hydrogen and um, we've connected it to our detonator box. So we'll arm the system with a key. Ready? Three, two, one. It's, it's just put a hole in the balloon. See all that hydrogen escaping? It just put a hole in the balloon. Right. I think we're going to have to do it again. So, Mark 2. What's different this time? This time, we've put the match inside the balloon. And we've tied the balloon with a rubber glove. So, we've connected the match, armed the circuit, Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. There's no oxygen. There's no oxygen inside the balloon. Oxygen inside the balloon. <laughs> Stop the leakage. <laughs> Arise, sir, match on a stick. We're going to use this to set off our large balloon. Woohoo! Okay. The balloon doesn't burst. <laughs> so you can see that when we burst the balloon, the hydrogen escaped and formed a flare. It didn't explode because there wasn't enough oxygen to fully combust the hydrogen. So what we saw was a really nice hydrogen flare. <laughs> okay. Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of too much. Take 45. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That was more like... Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>